A crash along the queue line causes quite a mess. Now we're learning what it what caused it to happen and how it can serve as a lesson in the future. A security was rolling and captured the whole thing on Woodward and Canfield this afternoon. We talked about the learning curve that there would be with the queue line. Let's bring in Steve Garagiola. The queue line streetcar uh, didn't exactly cause this though, correct Steve? No, just kind of caught up in the middle of it. You know, accidents are going to happen. People drive too fast, they're distracted when they're driving, but we all have to keep in mind, this is a brand new Detroit. A lot of pedestrians, lots of bicycles and bicycle lanes, and yes, the queue line. It all takes some getting used to. The damage relatively minor, as were the injuries to a man on a city bus and two people in a car hit by the bus as the car's driver negotiated around a queue line train stopped at Woodward and Canfield. Here's surveillance camera video from across the street. With the train stopped, watch the right side of the screen as the car moves tentatively around the stopped train and the bus nails him. An off-duty EMT was on the bus and helped a fellow passenger. So he hit the rail when he was standing up, uh, rushed to help him, jumped off the bus just to see how the people were in the car. Uh, they were okay. Detroit drivers are still getting used to the idea of these trains running up and down Woodward. Here's a guy parked on the track. After a couple of minutes, he saw the train coming and smartly pulled away. Detroiters are still adjusting to trains on the street. I feel like the drivers and bikers around here are relatively smart. Um, I know people talk about how big um, of a pain it is for drivers to, like, to avoid the queue line, but for me it's just about finding good public transportation for the people of the city. Well, baby steps. We're growing with public transportation. You know, here's one of the challenges. You can see these cars right here. The tracks are in an actual lane, and cars have to remember there's a train there that can't go around you. You have to go around him. Thankfully, the injuries were minor. We're all going to keep learning to handle all the new congestion downtown. Guys, back to you. Steve, is Q line back up and running then? Yeah, it was shut down for about an hour and a half this afternoon uh, on the whole system was because they don't have that many cars running. But yeah, it's up and running again now. Everything is back to business as usual. Good to hear. All right, Steve.